again. Um, so we are going to show you guys uh, the process that we go through to make these cages, right? Okay, so we've got a huge pile of them here. We've already made. Uh, so these guys are four foot wide and they're a foot tall. Um, and so that's a, a certain specification in terms of how we cut the cages. So these were, I think you guys remember us saying they were eight foot by 20 foot long uh, sections of this remesh, the steel remesh that we bought. So eight feet long means that we have some room to cut them at different lengths and different heights, whatever we need to do. So for a four foot wide bed, we're, we need them to be how wide, Bryce? Six, quick math real six quick. feet? Six feet, yes. Right, because there's a foot on each side. So <laughs> a foot on each side, it needs to get bent down, and then the four foot width of the row means six feet total. So how much do we have to take off the eight feet? You gotta take off four of these squares. So you have taken off a total of one, two, three, four. And how much is four squares? Two feet. Two feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm math, it's math challenge day, man. Come on. <laughs> I know you're off college, but we got to keep fresh. Got to keep spry. Off season. Uh, so anyway, you got so the pro, so he's gonna start cutting off where he needs to cut, right, with his bolt cutters. So we're just using some standard bolt cutters. He's got a smaller pair. I've got a larger pair. Really, the, the gauge is not too bad that you can't use a smaller pair of bolt cutters. But so he's gonna cut all the way down at that length or that width until he gets to the end and then we will update you when he gets there. Okay, so now he's cut that section off. So now we've got the proper width, we've got the six feet. So now what do we need to do, Bryce? Gotta clean up these edges right here. Right, so these sheets come with these little pokey edges, right? And so we need to, we need to trim those off. Okay, so he just goes off and trims those edges. That's one extra step, unfortunately, we have to do. Uh, and one thing to be, to make note of is once you trim these edges, they do get pretty sharp. And I've gotten bit a few times on these things yeah. and gotten some scratches and some scrapes, you know. I mean, this is these are farmer arms, right? Like, <laughs> they definitely will will do that. So you gotta be a little bit careful. You gotta pack uh, talk them. Yeah, don't, don't get too wild with them. Um, but yeah, that's just a downside. Um, I don't know how to avoid it. It's just kind of how it is. I thought about trying to smooth them down, but I'm like, hmm, we have a few cages. That might take a while to try and smooth down every friggin' thing we cut off. So we're not doing that. Anyway, so Bryce, okay. now what? Okay, so now in order to make your like half prism, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, cut out a two by two of the, um, the cage to make like your little flap. So that way when you fold them up, it's gonna make you a nice right. half prism. Half prism? Half pr rectangular prism. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I think what you mean is... what is, what, is that what like it is? A, yeah, a prism? I, yeah, I mean... Okay, I see what you're saying. Like, it's a three-dimensional rectangle is really what it is, right? Oh, like nice. these things, right? Like, it's a three-dimensional rectangle. That's what you're describing. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so you cut these corners out, and it makes the angelfish. Show us the angelfish. There's the angelfish. Yes. Uh, and so we cut the corners out and then that allows us to bend up the sides the way we're going to. So we'll show you that next. Okay, so now that we've got those corners cut, Bryce is going to bend the sides. Now this is where you will kill your body. Now, because the cutting is like, yeah, you're bending over, but it's not so bad. Maybe your forearms will start to hurt after the you know first 20. But like doing this will kill your back, kill your legs. Pretty much your whole body will be aching after you've spent an entire day bending these guys. So, you know, hire a good, strong back. That's why like, you got me. Like this gent that we hired. He's a young, strapping lad, not like myself. What are you talking about? Bro, come on. <laughs> I am not strapping hey, anymore. Just the number, Tom. I guess I, I guess I'm still strapping, but like you know, the the, the 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 machine breaks down a lot more often. So that's all I'm saying. Age is just a number, right? Yeah, it says it says the twenty year old. Come on now. <laughs> all right, so now he's bent it up. So he's going to do the nifty trick of using his foot rather than his upper body. Which this actually, once I figured this part out, it saved me a lot of anguish. So you're really just using your weight to push the cage in to where it needs to be. So it's more, it's basically a straight 
uh, edge. Satisfying. Yeah, it is. It is fairly satisfying. Uh, you will still exert some energy, but it's not nearly as bad. I was doing, I was bending these things by hand, and then using a five-pound sledge to to pound in the edges. That lasted all of about I don't know ten or fifteen cages before I figured out that that was not sustainable um, because it was a whole lot of extra effort. And then I figured this part out. So you just use your foot and your body weight and push it in and works like magic. So, and we'll show you the next step in a second. All right, so now we are going to zip tie the corners. Uh, you probably want a robust zip tie for this, but basically I do this. It's not something that Mimo Davis, who's the original uh, sort of inspiration for these cages, she doesn't do this. I personally like to do it just to keep the corners nice and snug um, because it is the one place where I feel like maybe they could sort of bend, start to bend loose over time. Uh, so it's something we do. We do all four corners and then the cage is done and we move on to the next cage. <laughs> uh, one down, you know, probably 20,000 to go. No, actually, it's not so bad. We're, we're, we're to our last, I think we are our last five or so, three oh, yeah. or four or five, something like that, which is amazing when we started out at a hundred. So Anyway, that is the process, and uh, if you have any questions, let us know.